The future of gaming is here, and it's more unreal than ever. Welcome back to Reckless On Chain. Today we're diving deep into the next generation of gaming, combining the jaw-dropping visuals of Unreal Engine 5 with the revolutionary technology of blockchain and cryptocurrency. Imagine a world where every item, every character, and every achievement is not just a digital asset, but a valuable piece of crypto. A world where you truly own your in-game assets and can trade, sell, or keep them as collectibles. In this video, we're counting down the most anticipated Unreal Engine 5 games that are set to redefine the boundaries of gaming and blockchain technology in 2024. So strap in, hit that like button, and let's get Unreal.
distress signal last night. They think it came from your dad's ship. The signal... It came from past the outer ring. How is that even possible? His ship has been reported missing for 20 years now. Pretty sure he's not coming back. We go there. We might not come back. What is this place? This is going to change everything. They found out we have the map. They're gonna kill us for it. If that's the case, there's only one thing we can do. Hey guys, Brad here with the Star Atlas team, and we thought we'd give you guys a little sneak peek of something we've been working on. Now to be clear, this is an internal demo, and I cannot say if or when it will make it into your hands, but it should give you guys a little taste of the progress we're making. The goal of this project was to test out our flight model, and just kind of play around and see what's fun, what works, and what doesn't. So this is just a fun little mini game that we built. You start with five seconds on the timer, and every gate you fly through and target you hit adds time to your timer, with the objective being to get to the finish before time runs out. Big shout out to my fellow members of the MUD faction. Humanity first. Sorry, not sorry. 
Now I would like to note for the record that the ship I'm flying is not a racing ship, it is in fact a freighter. So if it looks like it handles like a pregnant whale, that is by design. But as you can see, I have my HOTAS set up. Um, that was something that was very important to me to get joystick support because no self-respecting pilot flies with a mouse and keyboard. Despite this ship not yet having an interior because it's still a work in progress, I still prefer this first person view. I've always flown that way. I'm just a huge space sim fan. I love all of them. I've got literally thousands of hours on the stick. So for me to be able to work on this game is really just a dream come true. And I know everyone on this team feels the same way. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little peek behind the curtain. Um, thank you so much for your support. We couldn't do this without you guys. But hold on to your butts because there's a lot more alpha coming your way soon. And I should probably be sharing my screen, shouldn't I? But um, I checked these out, and I saw that there was, like, a ton of lore for each of these little ships. For example, like, the Lobi, which looks super sexy, by the way. I mean, this ship is insane. Yeah. It's got a bunch of stickers on it. It's got that born to ride. It's got that feel of, like, you're getting chased by a bunch of aliens, maybe, like, these Onis. And you've just got to gotta survive. you got to race through it, right? Kind of like, um, what was that game? Have you ever played, like, Jack and Dexter? Like that game where people not. just raced. You haven't? How dare you? <laughs> At some point, you have to. You have to. It was like my PS2 dream game back in the day. But yeah, like this game gives me a lot of vibes from Jack and Dexter, if anybody's ever played it. So I loaded up. Uh, I set the that Fimble Lobby you were just talking about. I set it on a ship pad outdoors. This is oh, a yeah. really iconic ship. It's pretty. It, I mean, it's it's really unique in that space genre. Uh, I'd say it's kind of a hybrid of like fifth element and uh, I don't know traditional sci-fi, but real fifth element vibe to this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm gonna just show it to them in the big screen. Hold on, let me let me show them in all of its glory because this thing is like when you see it small, it's like okay, it's a nice ship and all, but when you see it in all of its glory, my girlfriend was like, "What in the world is this thing?" So I'm gonna go ahead and actually load it up so people can see it here. You, all you have to do to load up a ship is interact here with F, and then you go to this ship pad. There's also a marketplace there as well, which I have noticed. But you go over here. Let's look for the ship. Hold on. Here's a lobby, set ship, and that's it. So it loads up in all of its glory. And when you actually go and you go close to these models, it's like 
the most badass thing. If you ever watched movies from the 90s where people had those little wheels that went up and down, and it was like this most swagger thing in the world. It's like that's what the lobby <laughs> is in this world. Like you see this, and it's like every detail. There's like scratches on it, and there's just small little gloss finishes on everything. It's like how much effort went into this thing? It's insane. It's an incredible yeah. amount of work, yeah. Um, I mean, this is it's really the power of Unreal Engine, but man, the team is doing an incredible job with the fidelity of all of these assets. Yeah, I, uh, I low-key kind of want to ride this thing. I think, uh, I think I'm going to take it for a spin a little bit while you keep talking here for a second. Look at this, I just wanted Jesus. Yeah, I wanted to mention real quick on the marketplace too. That is fully connected with Solana. So we have a marketplace at play.starless.com if you want to access it through uh, the browser. But otherwise, you can buy and sell ships from us or from other players directly through the in game marketplace. And those are all Solana transactions that are taking place. It's all on blockchain. So is the vision, because I feel like there's a lot of you know web three games out there that they have a lot of web 2.5 microtransactions they don't really go fully on chain is the idea of star else to say screw all that web 2.5 stuff we're just going to fully embrace blockchain and make everything we do have something to do with blockchain it is and i know it's kind of a controversial take because everybody is thinking about how do we attract good. mainstream to this right um Flight but mode. i'm a long time crypto advocate been in the space for 10 years i and like vehemently behind the philosophy and ideology of crypto. And I think if we don't educate uh, the mainstream user on the benefits of self-sovereign ownership of assets and all of the other benefits of crypto, we're, we're really doing people a disservice. So it, we're taking the, the hard road, but it's one that I think will pay dividends in the future. Yeah. And I mean, like the thing you're doing in general is extremely ambitious. I mean, the only, I mean, I know, what was it? Starfield came out recently and that was by Bethesda, correct me if I'm wrong. That game, it looks okay, but it's got a bunch of bugs on it. And, you know, people are, you know, conflicted in regards to it. People are super hyped for Star Citizen. And then obviously, you know, you've got Star Atlas here. It's it's one of our smallest ships. It's an extra, extra small, the Pierce X4. Uh, more of an air bike than anything. But uh, this is, that one's close to our gold standard. Um, but again, yeah, because I saw some of the ships that. are still on uh, under construction, right? So that one's they pretty are. much done. Yeah, what we wanted to do, so this is uh, what we call our R2.1 release, the 2.1 version of the game, and um, we wanted to get all of the ships that people have purchased into the engine. And so even though they're in different states of development, some of them are gray box or white box and uh, just unfinished flight or not mode. perfected, they all do have unique flight physics. So there's some 51 different ships that you can buy now, and they're all available and all flyable um, inside the game. now. Uh, some of the bigger, sh all, actually, all of the bigger ships have unique interiors. Um, oh, do that they? you can explore? Do I yeah, have any of them unlocked, or? I don't think uh, I don't think you do. But okay. let me. Actually, there's one that you can. Uh, really? If you jump off of the airbike, there's a, a free ship that it's not purchasable, but it's a way that everybody can get into the game and play. And that's the Floyd Liner Aerospace okay, One. So we've got the Floyd Liner Aerospace one. Okay, got it. Yep. How do I get now into this? Yeah, so at the front there, you can actually open up the gate. You just have to find the little uh, interact uh, 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 dialogue. Oh, got it. Ooh, okay, so I'm inside. So I close it now, right? Yep. And there's, you know, there's a bunch of stuff you can interact with. You can, once you're up in the air, you can raise the landing gear. You can close the the entry gate. You can go in and open cabinets and drawers, and you know, interact with a bunch of different stuff. There's a wow, this um, is so the head on these. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can actually fly this too. Yeah, you can fly this one. So this is a whole spaceship. You, it is, yeah. Um, wow. And, and so what are people going to be doing with this ship specifically? Well, for now, there's a few different things that you can do in the showroom. So this is kind of our demo environment where we introduce new features. Um, right now, there's a couple of different racing modules. I know we're going to be doing some racing today, yes, but there's, um, there's some in-air racing through gates. These are all time trial with These, leaderboards, right? by the way. Yep, so you would go through that gate, that would kick off the uh, race, and then you, you know, as you go through this, you can shoot at targets, which reduce your time. 
and uh, otherwise it's just uh, getting through the, the course as quickly as you can and oh hitting God. as many targets as you can. We'll do uh, maybe three laps on this and uh, Three laps best is time. six minutes? Uh, I'm About, down for it. Yeah. I'm down for it. I think best of three, so if you beat me twice, you win. Okay. Or if I beat you twice, which I will, <laughs> then we'll All win. Right. Yep. All, All right. right. We'll see. All right. Count it down. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Oh, boy. I totally have a ton of practice on this. Oh, my gosh. So B is to break, right? Uh, X is default breaking. Oh, shit. So this, like, my girlfriend tried to do this earlier, and she just, it did not work. Like, at all. So what we're, what we're doing here, by the way, is going to be multiplayer competitive combat racing. So right now it's all single player time trial, but the release that we have coming later in the year is, uh, it's all multiplayer. So we'd be on the same track, and we'd be able to pick up these boosts. Uh, destroy each other, disable each other's ships. Uh, it's kind of like a souped-up Mario Kart or pod racing. Right. And if you if you hit middle mouse uh, button, you activate your tractor beam, and then you can pick up these boosts by using a uh, really? left mouse. And so yeah. these boosts, do they do anything right now? Well, uh, your ship is like your shields and your health. You'll see that on the left HUD. Uh, you are taking damage depending on you know. Yeah. So if you pick up like the wrench or the shield it does stuff uh the ammo the rockets and uh let's see what's the other one ammo rockets and uh, there's one more I'm, I'm forgetting right now but these are um you know those will be useful in multiplayer fuel sorry the fuel right so uh, and you remember how i was saying earlier like all of the resources from sage labs are going to be used in unreal engine too and when we get into these multiplayer competitive races, um, they'll be you know multiple, maybe a hundred laps long. You'll need to make a pit stop and refuel your ship along the way, and so you'll need to buy that fuel or craft it yourself uh, in these races. Ooh, interesting. So all of this is going to have a cost attributed to it. It there, yeah. I mean, there's resource expenditures uh, through all of the gameplay. You'll have to buy that with Atlas, with the our in-game currency. But uh, the multiplayer races are going to have some kind of payout, right? So, like, if you're competing and you're winning, uh, then you'll win. Uh, you'll win Atlas as well. And so, if you just want to compete in racing, you can do that. You take your winnings, you buy your resources, and just keep uh, keep racing. But it's a really right. cool way for us. So it's to... It's kind of like a wager in a way. It's sort of like a wager, yeah. Um, and top three positions most likely will win. Um, we'll and we'll see more as the. Um, all right, I got two twenty nine on that one. Call oh, you're it. done. Hello, yeah. you were going slower than me. What? There's no. <laughs> you went through like a shortcut or something. There's you no. You can't way. shortcut the gates. You can't shortcut the gates. Really interesting. Yeah. All right, all right, whatever. I thought I was doing pretty well there. Okay. <laughs> All right, 249. <laughs> yeah, I don't know All any right, like, actual shortcuts. I was just racing it normally. All right, I'll help you out on uh, with one thing here. That's uh, You know about shift, right? So shift is like yes, a boost shift is a on boost. your thruster. Okay, so um, you see that little triangle in the in the bottom right? Okay. So that uh, you can you can wait either your shields, your weapons, or um, your kind of like uh, thrusting replenishing rate. So if you hold G G then and just move G uh oh yeah, I'm seeing it. Okay. And then you can so you can move that around. Now for these races, it's best just to have your cooling so the bottom right corner uh by the fan. So 100% there? Yeah, that's going to that's going to help you out a little bit. Okay, got it. That, that's one tip. Wait, give me the other tips. <laughs> <laughs> After I win, uh, I'll fill you in on God a few more. It. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so that what, right. what, that makes me go faster, or what? It just uh, it makes you go a little bit faster. Yep, you'll have a higher top speed, and and uh, you can only hold your boost. So uh, go to play. Uh huh. And then uh, hit E. So the first experience is showroom. That's what we were oh, just in. Oh, okay. All right. There's actually a couple more. Like, if you want to scroll through real quick, just um, uh, can kind of walk you through what else is in there. Uh, I think it's just dogfight and race. Oh, I'm hit. Uh, sorry, escape out of this and activate experimental mode right there. Got it. Yeah. Oh. So these are, 
these are just like different environments you can explore. Not too much to do in them, but just showcasing the um, uh, graphical fidelity again. Yeah. So that's like an expanded showroom. You'll see a bunch of gray box assets, not finished off, not textured, but just to give you a sense of where we're going with the scale of this. Um, but anyway, we'll jump into the flight trainer. Let's do dogfight. Okay, I'm gonna be okay. This is this is gonna be a fun one because I've never done this one before. So we'll see how it goes. Press zero to ready up. Okay. All right, share yeah. your screen. Share your screen. Come on. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get you on here. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be loading up. Yeah, God bless. Uh, I'm gonna be loading up one of my favorite ships here. It's a uh, it's a medium ship. It's a Fimble Lobby. Fimble Lobby. Let me see. Or, it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Fimble Mamba. Oh. And so, okay, that's a big boy. So do I just hop on this thing now? I have to like actually get inside. You'll need to get inside that one like you did uh, before. Uh, okay, I got this. Yeah, this Mamba is one that. You can see it doesn't have all the textures on it or anything yet, but I just absolutely love this ship. Oh, that reminds me of something from Star Wars. I don't know what it's called. What is it, a T-Fighter or something? It looks sexy. I don't know. All right, I'm in. Oh, God. Okay, so what is it? Right, that zero. Do I have to press zero, or do I just go into it? Whoa, I can't see anything in here. Yeah, I should probably just be like this. Wait, did, he, did his computer crash? Wait a minute. Are you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to get back in. My, it. Hey, look, this is all early access, pre-alpha. I did crash. But I'm back. It's all loading. good, guys. I'm running this on low on stream, and I, like I have a 4090, so God bless. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> yeah, Michael just nuked his stream. No, it's all good. I'll give you a second. Maybe I should run through this while you're uh, doing your thing, just to get some practice. And, and so, you uh, yeah. so hit zero, hit hit zero, and you'll start to see the um, the waves of down. opponents come at you. Oh, there's people that come at me. Yeah, Wait. yeah, so this is all, all PvE stuff. There you go. Oh my gosh, I'm destroying him. Oh, is that another one of those arrows? Wave, Wave two. two. Oh, so I'm Enemies supposed to just inbound. go as far as I can. I thought there were, like, numbers here or something. Is that for the race? There there are a maximum number of waves. Um, <laughs> we were talking about going up to 12. I think it's, like, Enemies six or nine one. waves right now. Okay. Uh, it will get increasingly more difficult Wave as they... Uh, as Enemies they come out inbound. and then you get it, it's points so there's a leaderboard based on points that you get um uh once you complete it or die Whoa. or die what do you mean well you can get blown up too these <laughs>
be safe. My team, we don't play them. Mill rays or we ain't. You already know me, some hooligans. What am I to be but a hooligan? Catch me in the street with them hooligans. Say you down for the cops, gotta prove it. Say you down for the cops, gotta prove it. Or stay out the way for the movement. Cherry King squad up, no cap. We out you. What's happening? Got factions by the masses. When I test our G, we AK deep in the street with a fleet. Made the six skate drop to his knee, but believe that's what you call anarchy. On the rise, strategize every move. When we ride, don't care what back you from. I'm a dirty dog. We on the takeover, speak his ass. Mount up, be straight, get home, be safe. My team, we don't play. them. Harness their power. And put down this threat once and for all.
There you have it. The top Unreal Engine 5 blockchain and crypto game set to take the world by storm in 2024. From breathtaking visuals to groundbreaking blockchain integration, the future of gaming is not just immersive, it's also empowering for players everywhere. Which game are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. And if you've got any insider tips or early access experiences, we'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of gaming, don't forget to hit that like button share with fellow gamers, and subscribe for more cutting-edge content right here on Reckless on Chain. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the next era of gaming. Until next time, game on and stay Reckless.